Hello, my name is Michael Green. I am a machine learning researcher at the Laboratory for Analytic Sciences. This video will describe a prototype application we have developed at LAS called GUESS. GUESS is an acronym for Gathering Unstructured Evidence with Semantic Search. We will demonstrate the use of GUESS to augment analyst queries of speech-to-text transcription from audio recordings. The motivation for GUESS originates from the PandaGem study which observed analysts attempting to find answers to questions concerning China's gifting of pandas to the United States from the Nixon White House recordings. These recordings are publicly available from the National Archives. In order to facilitate search through the recordings, LAS created machine-generated speech-to-text transcripts using Amazon Web Services' transcribe service. Machine-generated speech-to-text often creates imperfect audio transcriptions due either to poor audio quality of the original recordings or limitations of the machine learning algorithms behind the transcription service. Due to these noisy transcriptions, using keyword search is problematic for analysts. The keywords themselves may be mistranscribed or the context in which the key terms appear may not be well represented. Guest demonstrates methods to augment analytic queries to overcome these difficulties. Not only do we show that these techniques work with marginal quality speech-to-text from room audio recordings, but we believe these methods can be applied in many other text domains as well. Before discussing guests in more detail, there are a couple other observations about analysts that we wish to share. First, when triaging corpora of text, we can generalize analytic activities into two broad categories. The first category is information exploration, and the second is information retrieval. Information exploration involves activities where an analyst knows there may be interesting information in the text documents, but they really do not know what information may be about. They'll know it when they see it. While one could argue that all searches must, must start with a question, the question in this case may be, given this collection of text, what questions should I be asking? Information retrieval involves finding information relevant to more specific analytic questions. In the case of the PandaGem study, these questions included when were pandas introduced to the public in the United States, and what zoos were considered to house the pandas. While these two categories of activities often occur together in an iterative process and are mutually supportive, it is the latter information retrieval task that GUESS is focused on augmenting. Our second observation about analysts and regarding information retrieval tasks is that unlike when using Alexa to find who won the 1956 World Series and expecting a single correct answer, the New York Yankees, analytic workflows require the gathering of multiple pieces of evidence that may support or refute an analytic conclusion. Furthermore, the information analysts are looking for is rarely explicitly stated and they have to put together pieces of information to build a story. This search for evidence and not answers will influence the way we design an interactive user experience and present results. So how do we get beyond keyword search for information retrieval from large corpora of text? The state of the art in machine learning as applied to natural language processing tasks employs very large language models or deep neural networks. These large networks can be used to produce vector representations of text at various levels, including words, sentences, paragraphs, or entire documents. In machine learning, a vector representation, or embedding, is a list of numbers that mathematically represents unstructured data such as text. This embedding allows us to place a text object in a latent space where we can find similar text objects by measuring distances, or use the representation in each individual dimension as a feature for input into a classifier. With GUESS, we will use embeddings at a sentence level. Furthermore, we will prompt an analyst to ask natural language questions representing the information they want to find. We can also embed these questions. We then use embeddings in two manners. The first way just finds sentences that are closest to our questions, or its nearest neighbors in the latent space. The second way we use embeddings is to cluster the sentences in a corpus into groups of similar sentences. This will be useful in finding topical concepts and additional context for our searches. In this very simple visualization, we represent text objects with three numbers, representing vector coordinates of three dimensions. If the red dot represents a text query, we find that it is closest to an orange dot. This orange dot is most semantically similar to our question. 
Furthermore, we see that we have two clusters of dots. The orange dots form a group, and the blue dots form another group. Maybe the orange dots are sentences about cats, and the blue dots are sentences about dogs. And maybe our question was something like, what kind of cat is orange with a striped tail? So with those bits of background for guess, we can articulate the research questions we are trying to answer. Can we apply cutting-edge machine learning methods to augment analyst queries and find more evidence faster? Do context-aware embeddings mitigate text search problems originating from poor audio transcriptions? Can we demonstrate that iterative user-in-the-loop applications are a good way to use ML to empower analysts? And how much control do we give users, and how do users adjust their own behavior based on interaction with the machine learning? When using Guess, an analyst will be led through a workflow that is somewhat different than a typical query, sort, and examine information retrieval process. While Guess certainly involves these elements, it incorporates a couple of significant changes. First, we begin with our questions in natural language. These can be specific analytic questions or even examples of text where the goal is to find something like this. We emphasize going back to source data to validate the information we are retrieving. This is especially important in the speech transcription use case we are testing. And we encourage an iterative process. We want an analyst to use their understanding about the subject matter and their judgment of where the tool is working well or not, change their, their search parameters, change their questions, change sorting parameters, and iterate until they have sufficiently uncovered enough evidence. Through this iterative process, we emphasize user agency, a key factor in user adoption of ML tools, and do not suggest we are trying to replace analytic judgment with automated solutions. However, we are still addressing challenges of scale and finding more evidence faster from very large collections of data. This is a screenshot from our prototype guest interface. The application prompts a user first for analytic questions and then for faceted search parameters that an analyst may be more familiar with. Guess first uses the faceted search parameters to filter a corpus of text to likely documents. After the initial search, resulting documents, or transcripts in our case, are ranked according to a standard search index algorithm. A user may select one, many, or all of these documents for semantic analysis. This is where we will apply machine learning models to embed sentences, find similar sentences to our questions, and cluster sentences into topics. Here is our first example demonstrating how Guess improves upon keyword search. In our test case from Panajam, annotators have determined there are 16 transcripts in the corpus that contain information relevant to pandas. A keyword search of panda will find 12 transcripts, 8 of which are actually relevant, and 4 that are false positives due to mistranscriptions. When we do a semantic search and then examine the clusters of sentences that contain the most semantically relevant sentences, we can find 3 more of the 16 relevant transcripts. Two of those are indicated here. And when looking at the context of clusters as indicated by a word cloud and top keywords is determined by a process called term frequency inverse document frequency, we can find a new keyword, in this case the word mate, that when used as a keyword in a new search will find two more relevant documents. Using the term mate, we find the best evidence to when pandas will be introduced to the public in the United States. When looking at a separate audio playback tool, this was built for the PandaJam study and not actually part of Guess, we also see that though the automated speech transcription does not look particularly relevant, the actual audio as transcribed by a human has exactly the information we are looking for. Guess told us this text was potentially relevant, where other techniques would have missed this clue. To answer another of the questions that analysts in the PandaJam study struggled with, we can use guess in a slightly different approach than in the previous example. Our initial question about what zoos were considered to host the pandas returns several semantically similar sentences. Here an analyst has pasted some of those sentences into the search interface to find more similar sentences. Using this one simple step, our analyst found that San Francisco was considered as a home for the pandas. None of the participants of the PandaGem study, who did not have access to guess, were able to identify San Francisco as a candidate, though the other cities we see here, St. Louis, New York, Chicago, and San Diego, were easily identified. 
For our last example of where guest succeeds, we are again searching transcripts of the Nixon White House recordings. This time, though, our topic is not pandas, but Nixon's foreign policy plans and intentions. This question may be closer to the type of information need that analysts are typically interested in. We see that by just using semantic search, we find relevant evidence that does not contain any of the keywords explicitly in the question. The preceding slides demonstrated the success of guess in finding more relevant transcripts and finding more evidence required to better an answer analytic questions. There is another aspect of guess that we have also tested and consider a success. The machine learning library we use to perform sentence embeddings also supports multilingual models. We can ask questions in English and find relevant documents and relevant sentences in numerous other languages. We have demonstrated this multilingual application on text transcriptions from Russian language podcasts. In this proof of concept application, analysts were able to easily find information on the Navalny poisoning despite many representations of the name Navalny and various references to the attack. So it seems that GUESS is working great. But there are some limitations. First, the machine learning techniques we are using require large amounts of computational resources and can be slow or unresponsive with very large amounts of data. The Nixon transcripts include about 1.3 million sentences, and we can process this much text in a reasonable amount of time. However, in order to do so, with the compute resources we have for this project, we cannot support more than one user at a time. Another difficulty we have is benchmarking performance. We have demonstrated some examples that indicate useful performance but the processes we used were iterative and required the input of some analytic judgment. This is much harder to quantify than the standard accuracy measures against benchmark datasets often seen in machine learning literature. Furthermore, due to the nature of machine learning, good performance against our test data, in this case the Nixon White House recording transcripts or some Russian language podcasts, does not necessarily indicate good performance against other datasets. So what is next with GUESS? We're working on demonstrating with mission data on mission accessible platforms. We want to improve our interface to allow us to generalize GUESS applications to additional text sources, not just speech to text transcriptions, and additional languages. One of the things we have learned with GUESS is there are lots of ways to do topic modeling, keyword expansion, and other ML supported text processing applications. This is definitely not a one size fits all arena as certain te techniques work best in certain scenarios. We would like to develop better intuition on when to use what techniques and give analysts options to use the most appropriate of these techniques. Another direction to work on with GUESS is the integration of multimodal contextual cues. Audio recordings can contain much non-speech information that might be indicative of topic, topic change, or other interesting content. Likewise, if we wanted to search video, we might have text, audio, and image representations that all support finding and extracting relevant information. Finally, we understand our analysts don't appreciate having to select and move between multiple tools or applications to do their jobs. We remarked at the beginning of this presentation the difference between information exploration and information retrieval. We haven't mentioned information extraction or pulling out the relevant information in a structured format that might support large-scale knowledge bases and even more advanced analytics at scale. But is it conceivable to support an analytic experience that empowers analysts end-to-end? -end? So this concludes this video on GUESS, or Gathering Unstructured Evidence with Semantic Search. Thank you for viewing. For questions, additional discussion, or a demonstration, contact information is listed here. GUESS is a project from the Laboratory for Analytic Sciences. Thank you very much.